Hey, it's D with Divine L and Divine Needle. Um, I need to talk to you guys about something. And um, that something's pretty important. It's been bugging me for a long time. Um, uh, many of the tarot readers use um, what's called the Moonology deck. And um, one of the cards in that deck says, A fiery climax approaches. And every time it comes up in the readings, I'm uh, reminded over and over again of what they showed me and my daughter, the tiny blue beings. Um, and every time I hear those words, it pings inside of me. Can't describe it. Um, you wouldn't know it unless you're somebody else that's highly intuitive that gets pings. Anyway, um, my red flag radar goes off. <laughs> Best way to say it. <laughs> my radar goes ding, 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 ding. And um, anyway, so this reading that they gave me the other day, which ended up being tied to crop circles and a warning to humanity. Um, well, it gets deeper. In that reading, I talked about... Um, a cluster, a cluster of three. And um, the reading that I had deleted because of Four of Pentacles, holding back, withholding. Um, in the readings, I haven't been 100% um, <sighs> confident in myself. I should say. Um, so whenever they were telling me about ships, I was talking more about the macro microcosm. So, um, you know, the theater that's going on between the governments, okay? But what they're trying to tell me about, remember the micro macrocosm, they're trying to tell me about macrocosm not the biggest macrocosm but our solar system macrocosm um yeah they're telling me all kinds of stuff um it's really funny cuz um this sense of um impending um that's really weird because um i told my husband i said well something if you didn't notice a lot of people got the tower card in the readings <clears throat> recently um we had a bit of a tower moment somebody cleaned out our bank account they, they managed to do so using a debit card number. Anyway, um, it was easily resolved because um, I only do business with people I trust. And um, so it was resolved quickly so that we weren't at a loss. But um, that was over with. And I didn't feel any anxiety over it because I had had that happen once before because of people stealing debit cards, right? A few years back, it happened. And so I knew what to expect and what to do. So I didn't really feel super anxious about it because I knew my bank had my back. So um, once that was all over with, and my focus was on that for a couple of days since I did that last video for you guys, um, since that time, 
now that that's over with, my focus is and attention is away from that. Um, yeah, it's a huge hassle, hassle, major pain in the ass, extra gas, time, energy. Yeah. Um, anyway, once that was all said and done, this freaking weird, impending, anxious thing is back. Like, get on it. So, I'm on it. I started to make a video a couple of days ago um, to show you guys. Well, some confirmations on the reading, the main reading. Like the triangle in the sky, shooting down a beam. Um, it's interesting because that actually occurred prior to the reading, evidently. Um, but that doesn't mean it's not still occurring. Uh, notice I have a picture of the solar system up right now, but um, let's get to... Um, well, where we need to go. So give me just a moment. I found it. Turns out, <clears throat> a huge triangle craft over Turkey. Triangle craft beaming down. It would appear that we nailed that one big time. And it wasn't even based on the tarot reading. It was based on the Sabian Mysteries picture. The Pink Floyd-like looking Dark Side of the Moon album picture. I was like, yeah, it's a triangle craft and it's beaming something down. There you go. This um, video was posted. Um, it's interesting because this is the same channel I picked up on. I think it was... Yeah, Redstone um, message in um, uh, a crop circle. I remember we were like, there's a crop circle. Um, and that was from the Sabian Mysteries picture. It wasn't even the card reading. Crop circles. <clears throat> My husband and I did that reading, that beginning, the Sabian Mysteries together. And um, sure enough, there you go. The fact that this is actually occurring um, legitimizes that this is an ET craft. It is a triangle beaming something down. It, yeah, wow. I am beyond blown away right now because what I got to show you guys is going above and beyond that even. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is it was talking about um, clusters. Let me show you. Hold on, let me get to the actual point. Uh, I'll provide links. Anyway, in the original reading that I trashed, it was talking about something was going to happen in the sky that couldn't be missed. And it was going to happen, either the whole planet was going to see it, or at least multiple locations. And that was for that March 11th reading I did, for the 311 reading. And sure enough, on March 11th, um, several things occurred in the sky that people captured with bright lights flashing. Now, what's interesting, Harrison, because in if you watch them, the, this video, remember I talked about um, some orb ships, tiny orb ships, made a formation outside of my bedroom window and started flashing very brightly at me to get my attention. My son saw them. Um, that's what these ships are doing in the sky in Baltimore and Moscow on March 11th. And this is, this is just two. And this is from a different channel. This is UFO. 
VNI 2012. Um, and yeah, they're trying to get everybody's attention. The small, bright, white orb ships are good guys. They are the ones that have been spotted keeping certain rockets from getting off the ground, um, taking over nuclear launch site. Um, and observing uh, airplanes in flight, uh, pilots reporting about them. They're also seen near volcanoes much of the time. Um, anyway, they're the ones making the crop circles. Um, the legitimate crop circles. Now, some of those crop circles are just people being funny, you know, and so a lot of fakery going on, but there are other ET races that have been caught at the crop circles that the little white orb ships do. Other ET races caught at those crop circles doing their own investigation. And I imagine they're making some of the crop circles to muddy the waters, okay? And it's interesting, it's like um, everybody has their two cents about what the crop circle means. And I found somebody, um, Montana Sky Watcher, um, and I'm trying to contact them right now, um, that has figured out exactly what my team is telling me about specific real crop circles done by the little tiny white orb ships. Keep in mind, those little tiny white orb ships are on humanity's side. They're trying to protect us. Anyway, um... This right here, light orbs making crop circles. Um, there's been, and they're little tiny white orb ships. Um, probably the teeny tiny blue dudes. Uh, and these, the little blue guys are the ones that took me on separate occasions, not together. And my daughter, we live in two different locations, my oldest daughter and I. And showed us a planet on fire, utterly decimated. <clears throat> and every time I hear see that card pop up and the card reader say a fiery climax approaches. Well, yeah. My I keep pinging. My radar keeps pinging. My internal radar. Okay, bear with me. Okay. Sorry about the pauses and stuff, but I just needed to put this damn video together, whether it was good or not. I hope you can make heads or tails out of what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to be thorough because I want you guys to see the dots. Connect the dots. Interesting, because in the news, Planet Nine is being looked for yet again. Suddenly, look at this. Yesterday, four days ago, six hours ago, six days ago, yesterday. They're looking for it. I'm not the only highly intuitive person on this planet. So if I'm picking up on this, I know there's others possibly some of the remote viewers. Any of the remote viewers that watch my work, you maybe want to check this out for yourself. <sighs> Suddenly, they're looking for Planet Nine again. And it's out in the news.
What are the odds that they're suddenly looking for Planet Nine again after I have that reading? That's talking about something coming. A large fire. An emperor. A king of wands. A big fire. And they pointed at me being the messenger of fire in the reading. Because they're telling me to warn you guys. Now, is this an early warning for something greater to come? I'm not sure. Not yet, anyway. I plan on doing another reading, really zoning in on what that energy is. Anyway, um, it was fascinating because um, I watched uh, Santero's reading, uh, a Pisces reading. I am a Pisces Venus. Um, I watched her reading yesterday. Now, before I get into that, though, remember, I don't believe in coincidences. They're suddenly looking for Planet Nine, and that pops up in the damn reading, right? All right, so back to what we were doing, and I'll provide links for everything. I was watching a reading this morning for the second time. The first time I watched it was in the middle of all that banking nightmare, tomfoolery, crapple, uh, seven of swords crap. And I queen of swords did it big time. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, the first time I watched it was during that banking fiasco. My attention was not focused or I would have picked it up the first time. Anyway, San is doing a reading here, and I don't even think she realizes um, uh, what she's talking about. This is a Pisces reading. Um, it's showing uh, me holding back. Um, but it shows the, she holds up these cards. Let me get to the point where she puts them up in the air. There we go. She holds up this, these cards. These are the cards I was getting too in the readings I was doing. Messenger of Fire. That would be me. And then there's cards in between that and the King of Fire. This card here. I'll make this big. Messenger of Fire. And a King of Fire. Okay? The Messenger of Fire is Mercury. Okay? So they're telling me two things. Microcosm is me being the messenger about this, what's happening here. The other thing they're denoting is the messenger is Mercury. All right. King of fire. King of fire can be Leo the sun, right? Okay. Now she's going to show the cards that came between them. These two. A bird, a bluebird, with the red and blue. Remember, when planets are coming and going, they'll either appear blue or red, depending on whether they're coming or going. It's called the red-blue shift. That happens when you're photographing those planets. They'll look red when I think they're coming at us, and blue as they're heading back out. I believe that's how that goes. I'm not positive. Don't quote me. It's either vice versa, something. And then we get the nine of Earth. <sighs> the 
the ninth planet. That just came to me. I'm sorry. Um, I'm still getting messages, okay? Like I said, it's like that reading hasn't ever stopped. It just got distracted because of the whole bank fiasco. It's not over yet. <laughs> nine of Earth. Planet Nine. Planet Nine. I don't know if these cards are numbered that she's holding up, the one with the bird. It almost looks like it's a nine. Let me see if she holds that card up better so that we can see it better. Mm. I don't have my keyboard on the desk at this moment. That looks like a nine, not positive. Anyway, um, she holds these cards up. This is happening this morning to me. I'm, I'm watching this again. And I'm like, holy crap, now I know what they're trying to tell me. Except for I'm getting more info as I'm sitting here talking to you all. <laughs> the ninth planet. Nine. Nine planets here. But also, let me show you something else. Because this triggered me, this nine of earth, it triggered me to pull up my, my own cards. Here we go. The Nine of Earth. And remember when I saw that card, I was like, I think that's Venus, isn't it? The card of Venus. Look how it's got the bird in the hand. Remember, she's holding up a card with a bird on it and then the Nine of Pentacles. And look what that card says. Venus. Okay, Venus, and the lighting's very weird in here today, so excuse the blurry. We're going back to the share screen anyway. So I'm watching this reading. I haven't even finished it because when I realized what she was showing me, see there's the messenger of fire. And then this bird in between which they're denoting as being planet nine in between that and that fire energy and i don't know if she holds all four of those cards up together but then she holds up the air sign motion moving and storms. Um, if you look at this card, it's got the four horsemen on it of the apocalypse, right? And they've been really bringing up the whole um, dark horse, light horse, and all that stuff to me lately. And um, yeah. I didn't even finish this reading. I probably should have. But she holds she holds up the um, messenger of fire, the king of fire again, and those cards again. Anyway, her own reading is talking about the very same event that my reading is. And she's not even aware of it because she's looking more at the microcosm, the Pisces collective. Anyway, um... So she's got two of fire. I'm just going to see if there's anything else I need to add to this. Um, she got this autumn card. Um, and it was almost kind of eerie, very strange. Um, <sighs> Anyway, um, trying to see what else she got here. Chariot. Chariots of Fire. She got um, the Page of Fire. Again, 
So, messenger of fire, yet again, chariot. They're talking about chariots of fire. A message of fire incoming. The messenger, Mercury. Anyway, so let's go back. Did I close that? Let's go back to this. Why is that not popping up? Uh, there it is. Okay. Here's our sun, which is also the king of fire. Okay. Leo, the card of Leo, fixed energy. The first planet out is Mercury, the messenger. Okay. The next planet out is Venus. All right. And then we have Earth. Then we have Mars. Now, based on that and the readings and the warnings, um, girlfriend sent me this crop circle yesterday. And she's like, do you think this has anything to do with um, what your reading was about? And I was looking at it and I was like, it could be because um, it spoke to me of clusters or a cluster of three. Um, so planet nine plus two tagalongs. I have a feeling, yeah. Well, more than a feeling. Um, this, well, this image in particular, if you look at it, it's showing um, right here. There's, see, there's what looks like a planet with no rope. So we got Mercury, Venus, Earth, then Mars, and then outward, right? There's one here. I don't know. I'm still trying to sort this out. But I believe this is a map. I think the they're trying to tell us in the crop circles what's happening. And so does Montana Skywatcher. I'm not the only one. Um, let me try to bring up these images. Here's another crop circle, and I think they've tried more ways than one to give us this warning. Here's the sun in the middle, and then the lines denote the inner planets. This one denotes Mercury, this one denotes Venus, and this one denotes Earth's path around the sun. Notice there's three, a cluster of three coming in. One between the Sun and Mercury, one between Mercury and Venus, and another one coming in between Venus and Earth. Three of them. I notice how they look small and then get bigger as they enter into their trajectory. What they're telling me in this reading as the, the reason that those astronomers that are hunting for Planet Nine recently haven't found it is because it's hiding behind Venus. Based on what I can tell. Behind Venus and the Sun is the reason they're not seeing it. So either they've seen it and they're not coming clean Make that picture bigger so you guys can see it. These are the planets. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth. Okay. And these are something. 
Don't know whether you call them another planet, an asteroid, or what. But they're telling us about this coming. Um, based on the way the dots are, and they were talking about clusters to me, clusters of three. Well, this is three. One here, one here, one here. And they come up. I guess they come like underneath or from above. I don't know how that works exactly. But they kind of go through our system, around and back out again. There's other people that are onto the same thing. Why is my reading pointing at UFOs? Why is my reading pointing at these crop circles? And... A fiery climax approaches. Right? I mean, <sighs> so if anybody knows astronomers that have big telescopes, I mean, um, John Leonard Walson. Um, <sighs> See, the problem is it's hidden behind Venus, and the only way for them to see it right now would be um, some other sort of, um, maybe a satellite or um, the Outer Space Telescopes might see it, maybe, if they're in the right position. Either that or they have seen it, and they're just not telling everybody. Um, part of the reason I say that is um, you have people um, committing their two cents to what it meant, and they're like, Earth, Venus, Mercury orbit, orbit slows down, new alignment starting, this is back in 2017. And that it's just denoting the sun's vision becomes bigger and bigger by the day. That's not what that damn crop circle means. That crop circle means they got this part right. Earth, Venus, Mercury. Obviously the sun in the middle. But what are these in between? Based on what my guys are telling me, it's not your typical planets. So, the fact that they gave me the Nine of Pentacles means they're talking about Nemesis, Planet Nine. They're really not joking. And they're trying to tell us in the crop circles. So, my reading, that's why they headed me down that damn path. Um, they're trying to tell me about a trio coming in. And my team's referencing it as Planet Nine. Planet Nine. Anyway, um, I'll provide links. Um, I'm still trying to get a hold of some people. If you guys know anybody that can put something to this, any sky watchers that you know of, anybody that's filming the UFOs, because um, I I know some people personally that do it. A um, uh, good friend of mine, Rick, aka Richard, he films the tiny white ships, the same ones that I communicate with. Um, everybody needs to be kind of all hands on deck for this one. Because this isn't just, oh, Russia's getting in a fight with the Ukraine or the U.S. or whatever. This is much bigger than they are. I could care less about what those ding-dongs are doing out there right now. Because this is a humanity thing. Not a little um, swashbuckling, sword-smashing, ego-busting fight between a bunch of crybabies. That will all want to rule the damn world. Anyway, um, 
to me, this outranks that by gazillions of miles. Anyway, notice that um, this information, this deduction on what the crop circle meant, came out of the UK. No surprise there, um, just based on what I know. Um, a lot of disinfo out there. Fake crop circles, other ET races making them so that it covers up the real ones that are trying to put out the warnings. You want to know why all the elite made hidey holes and why they start, started doing those multi-million dollar upgrades to Milos, uh, the decommissioned uh, missile silos and turning them into fancy, fancy underground stuff and why people were hearing the underground booms and stuff? Because they're going to go underground. Because... Um, <clears throat> they know about it. Get the picture? All the world's indeed a stage and that and the wars and all that other stuff. Remember what I've taught you guys. They always do things to get your attention on something else because something else bigger is going on behind the scenes. Bank on it. Anyway, all hands on deck, and I mean all hands on frickin' deck. I'm going to be sending letters. I've already been trying to contact people um, before I even got this started um, to get a grasp on what's happening here. But um, the guy I'm trying to contact, uh, and I think it's a guy, I'm not sure, uh, He's also deduced what I have from some of these crop circles, that it's about what he's calling Nibiru. I call it Nemesis. Those ETs showed me and my daughter a planet on fire for a reason. It was a heads up. And every time I see that, a fiery climax is approaching card. My internal radar is singing every time. So, and other tarot card readers are getting the cards and not even realizing it. Or maybe they do and they're just like me and not saying anything. Or scrapping their videos because... They're unsure of themselves. It's kind of one of those positions for me where it's kind of, it's like I said before, you have to have balls to, to post card readings like that. Serious balls, because it'll make you or break you trust. Or at least it'll feel that way. But what matters more to me than my reputation or what have you is humanity. That, that's number one for me. Everybody else. I am an Aquarius after all. It is about humanity. So, there you go. Heads up. I'm going to do more readings on this, see if I can get any more information when we're supposed to be seeing this. Um, but the fact that they gave me that warning um, and we had that asteroid come in and they saw it only two hours before it impacted um, kind of makes me nervous. Because is that just the beginning of the show? I don't know. But they didn't see it coming. And based on what the reading said, they don't see it coming because it's hidden. It's either hidden behind Venus and the sun or in the zodiac sign of Aquarius in the sky. 
I don't know which it is, but I believe the planet Venus and the sun, for some reason, are obscuring them being able to see that planet, unless they have seen it and they're just lying their butts off. It could be either or. Either way, there's... Think about this. Think about this. Remember, I told you, never stop asking why. Why are they sudden, suddenly looking for Planet Nine? Because they know something. And so do I. Serious business, guys. Anyway, um, contact me, Divine Needle, the number eight, at gmail.com. Um, yeah. All you guys really need to put some work in on this one because um, this is bigger than me by a long shot. I hope people are actually listening and pass along uh, the message. You know, if you guys know anything, pass this video. Pass the last couple of videos, two, three videos I've done. Um, yeah, well, this started back with the March 11th reading and even prior to that. Um, about them warning me or trying to and I ended up trashing one of the videos and didn't even upload it. What a dummy. I'm kicking myself on that. But anyway, there you go. Uh, they're not looking for no reason. They really aren't. Planet Nine. The Nine of Pentacles. And why did they start heading me at crop circles? Because they're trying to warn you. Anyway, there you go. I hope I hear stuff from people this time. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear crickets. Seriously. I really don't. Everybody needs to freaking buckle down and figure this one out. Help. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.